video you see that how we can use translate text uh, to kind of converted a document converted a document from a, uh, actually file that is created in uh, OneDrive apply the text translation and then pass it back to the OneDrive so in this scenario uh, I'm going to show you another example of how we can use it for um, actually sending the email so imagine that you uh, receive an email and uh, you want to check it whether it is English or not if it's English you just want to forward it to the different address if it's not you want to translate it and then send it again so you're going to see that how that scenario actually work so I'm going to the uh, actually uh, create a new one so going to my fellow and again create a new instance from the blank and for this scenario we are going to send an email so send email the uh, actually trigger for this uh, scenario is that so when a new email arrive so you can actually use that uh, when a new email arrive so i can use that one i just need to check it's connected to the proper email address so this is the one that i'm going to use uh, and uh, so this is the, my radical account so when any email arrive from here so you can actually forward it so in the next sentence i'm going to actually use a one of the service that we have that is a uh, language detection so we have a detect the uh, language being used in the text so that's a one and i want to check the language that exists in the body so but you can actually use other things so this actually detect the language in the next step i'm going to use a controller so here i'm going to use a if then else controller that is going to check the language and if the language actually is uh, for example equal to english en and uh, for example en us or en you can actually if it's yes that means that we don't need to translate it so we are going just forward it uh, so here on the uh, yes action i'm going to send the email so add the action to send email using the office outlook i want to actually send an email to for example my another account that is uh, gmail one this one and the subject is the same subject of the email so here i choose the subject and the body is the same as the but it no need actually to change anything so this is one but if it's not if the language is not english i need to actually do something so i'm going to actually to translate it so first using the translate text into the another language so the one that i have is body of the email and i want to convert it to english so this is mine and because i don't know from which language uh, actually the email may arrive i put the translate from box to detect automatically so here if you know that you can choose that but in this scenario i don't know so here actually is not english so i translate it now i need to actually uh, send an email so send the email again to the same email that i have my gmail account subject again should can can be different you can put some different things but here i just put it as uh, the subject of the email but for the body actually i need the translation 
text so you can actually do that or you can for example put a using the concat uh, function to concat and mention that what's the language it is so this is a very simple steps that actually i follow so i'm going to put a name i call it as a translation send email and i'm going to save it okay so i save and just check the flow checker no error so i need to send the email to actually uh, to kind of test it i need to trigger it myself so i need to send the email to the account that i have that is actually this one so i'm going to send the email so i use my again gmail one so because i just have two email things so i'm going to send the email and call it as a language test and yep that's a one so I'm going actually to send the email. So before going to send it, I need to activate that one. So I'm back to the flow that I have. Let me back to the flow. So this one, I'm going to click on the test. I'm going to test it myself. And here, just send it. So the flow starts to run because it's triggered by receiving a new email. So the email arrive and you see that the first two steps works and the last one also works. So that's actually the one. So you can see the result here. So if I look at, so the experiment is false. So it's detect the language. So it's definitely going to this step. It's going to detect that one and detect the language that is Farsi and send the email to actually my gmail so i'm going to uh, open my gmail to see the translation of the one so i'm going to gmail so it's actually is that one so this is a city that i'm living so the uh farsi actually language was actually that one so Oakland city is very beautiful so you see that there's actually this is the how's the process we following app and you can use it so this is just sample use case so for the email for the companies that they have different uh, people from different countries and they receive the email and they want to have a automated actually translation you can do that so they are of their message if they want to store it in the another account or send it email so all that is possible thanks so much for watching this video